The Frontline Sidera HCI Universal Asynchronous Receive Transmit or UART feature provides the user with chip level Bluetooth protocol analysis. With the Sidera, you can perform protocol analysis of simultaneously captured chip level and over the air Bluetooth traffic. The UART capture setup starts with connecting the HCI pod to the Sidera unit followed by connecting the flying lead header to the pod. Next, you connect the leads to the device under test. This would be your HCI device. With the Sidera unit connected to your computer, configure the unit for HCI capture. Start recording on the Sidera unit and then start your device under test transmissions. The Sidera HCI pods are connected to the bottom of the Sidera unit there are two connectors labeled pod 1 and pod 2. In this video, we will connect only to pod 1, but there is no difference in connecting to pod 2. To access the HCI interface, unscrew the cover. The cover fits tightly, so you may have to flip the Sidera unit over to eject the pod interface cover. The HCI cables provided with your Sidera unit connect to the pod interface by gently pressing the cable connector into the pod interface. At the other end of the cable is the HCI pod. The flying lead header is connected as shown. The connectors are keyed so there is only one way to insert the header. The HCI pod is now ready for connection to your device under test. For capturing UART, in this example, we will be using the TX, RX, the VIO LVL or voltage level, and one of the GND or ground pins. TX and RX use the top two white wires, so do not get them mixed up when connecting to the device under test. When connecting to the device under test, connect the pod RX to the device under test RX, and connect the pod TX to the device under test TX. The voltage IO level, VIO LVL, is the input-output voltage reference that designates the threshold for a logic level 1. Voltage I.O. level uses the red wire. There are two ground connections available. You need only use one of these two black wires as we will do in this example. Supplied with your frontline Sidera unit are micro clips in a variety of colors. These clips are convenient for attaching to the device under test. To use these clips with the flying leads, insert the end of the lead into the microclip terminal as shown. Now we connect the HCI pod assembly to the device under test. Here we see a Casera Bluetooth development module. The RX and TX leads have already been attached. The red voltage I.O. level lead is attached to the VCC rail and the black ground lead is attached to a ground rail on the module. A few notes on the voltage I.O. level. This voltage designates the threshold for a logic level 1. The minimum voltage is 1.65 volts DC. The supplied voltage must be the device under test logic level 1 voltage. When you power up the Sidera unit, the HCI pod power LED will illuminate. When you have started the Frontline software, the Sidera data source window will open. You will need to configure the HCI to capture UART data from your device under test. From the Sidera data source window options menu, select Capture Options. This will open the Capture Options dialog. 
In the HCI section, click on Interface 1, since we are capturing only from Pod 1. The Configure button will activate. When you click on the Configure button, the HCI I.O. Settings dialog opens. These settings are dependent on the device under test, so you must have knowledge of how it is expected to operate. Settings include the transport protocol, and we will select H4. Next, the TX and RX baud rates are selected. You can select up to three different baud rates if your device under test is expected to change rates during operation. The settings at the bottom are parity, data bits, and stop bits. Click OK when the settings are complete, and then click OK on the Capture Options dialog. You are now ready to start recording HCI UART packets. To begin recording HCI UART packets, click on the Record button. In the Wireless Devices pane, you will see that Pod 1 is recording packets in HCI UART 4 Transport. You can stop recording by clicking on the recording button. Checking the box next to the pod 1 will select packets captured from pod 1 for analysis. You can optionally name pod 1 by clicking in the device under test field. We will name this test setup DUT1. Click on the Analyze button to begin analysis of the HCI UART packets that were recorded. Here in the frame display, you see the HCI protocols. By selecting one of the HCI protocol tabs, you can see the UART frames captured. If you open the message sequence chart, you can also see the HCI traffic. 